Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now the vehicle I've got for you today is a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas and as you just got a glimpse of, the interior of this thing is a disgusting mess. Okay, well just before we get to the disaster waiting inside, I'll show you around the exterior and although the paint doesn't have a ton of dirt on it, except on the back, what is on there looks really stuck on, as do all the bugs on the front end and the mirrors. But besides that, there's also carpeted wheel wells that are stuffed full of dirt. Moving inside now, and it gets significantly worse as there's all kinds of nasty grime and spills around the vehicle. The floor mats are full of french fries and dried up barbecue sauce. There's sticky stuff all over the back seats, some old forgotten Timbits hiding in the rear cup holders, and even mold growing on the carpets. But as if that wasn't enough, the owner's kid left some crayon artwork on the back door too. But just before we dive into this horrifying disaster, take a quick second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've got the bell on so you get notified when my new videos go live each week. Okay guys, well as you can see, I've got a fair bit of work ahead of me to get this Atlas looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right guys, well I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there who are just itching to see that interior get cleaned up, but before we can do that, I need to get this exterior washed. So starting with the pre-wash rinse, and you can probably tell that the dirt on here really isn't budging much, which tells me that this vehicle probably hasn't been washed for well over a year. And I also wanted to let you know that I was able to record the customer's reaction on this one, so make sure to stick around until the end of the video to catch that, as it's a good one. Now as I spray out the rear wheel well here, you guys probably already know that I really dislike carpeted wheel well liners, and this should hopefully show you why. All they do is hold on to dirt, and in order to get them clean, you've got to make several passes over the same spot as dirt just keeps pouring out. I know manufacturers do this to reduce road noise inside the vehicle, but I just don't understand why they would want to use a material that absorbs dirt and salt in the winter. Surely there is a better way to reduce road noise or a different material that could be used.
Moving to the front end where all the dead bugs are and just as I figured, my pressure washer isn't really doing much here, so I'll have to use some bug remover on them in a little bit. Okay, now to deal with these bugs, I'll get some of my Detail Geek bug remover sprayed on, and I can't tell you guys how amazing this stuff is. Simply spray it on, let it sit for a few minutes, and these bugs will easily come off during the wash stage. Okay, with the vehicle washed and dried now, I'll turn my attention to these dirty floor mats and we'll start by dumping all the loose dirt and debris like this moldy french fry. And I can honestly say these are definitely some of the dirtiest rubber mats that I've seen as there's tons of gross stuff still stuck to them. But thankfully they are rubber mats as that will make it easier to get them clean than if they were carpet. So I'll then grab the pressure washer and hopefully blast off as much of that as I can, get some all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1 sprayed on hit them with my medium green drill brush and then just blast them clean.
Okay, getting started on vacuuming now, and it's pretty clear that the rubber floor mats haven't moved since the vehicle was bought a few years ago, as the carpet underneath is in pristine condition, so that definitely makes the job a little easier, but so does the fact that this carpet is really good quality. It's some of the nicest I've worked on for quite a while, so for it being a newer vehicle, I was very surprised to see that. Moving to the back where the mold was growing in the carpets and I think I've only ever seen that one other time in the white Chevy Silverado work truck from a couple years ago. Now I've of course found moldy food numerous times but for it to actually be growing in the carpet, well that's pretty unusual and knowing the owner has two young kids, this is definitely something that I'm glad I can get cleaned up for them. Moving to the seats now, and based on how dirty they are and how the seams are still full of stuck on grime, I already know I'm going to need to steam them later on to get all that removed. Starting on extracting now, and given that most of the carpet here was in really good shape, I can go a little lighter on the amount of solution I spray on, which as you know is chemical guys lightning fast, and I dilute that down to about 20 to 1 in my pump sprayer. Both items I have linked for you down in the description, so feel free to give those a look.
Here's everything the Bissell sucked out of the Atlas today. Gross. Okay, well starting on the artwork removal now, and I'll first get some of my Detail Geek all-purpose cleaner sprayed on, and we'll then blast it with steam and the brush attachment, and once I've gone over the whole door, I'll then take the attachment off and blast out the cracks and crevices, then I'll wipe everything down with a slightly damp microfiber towel, and then follow it up with a dry one to remove any ABC residue. Now turning to these dirty and grimy leather seats here, I'll start by spraying on some leather cleaner and then again hitting them with the steamer is going to make quick work of the sticky spilled drinks and food that's stuck down in the seams. And then once I'm done, I'll simply wipe it down with a microfiber towel and when I'm done all the seats, I'll apply some conditioner to leave them looking and feeling like new again. Okay, moving outside now, and with this paint having a bunch of road tar stuck to it, I'll spray on some Detail Geek Quick Detailer to act as lubricant, and then using some clay bar, I'll rub it over the paint, and it's going to easily pick all that tar up. But the other thing the Quick Detailer is really good at is for in between waxing or sealing your vehicle, as it can easily and safely remove light dust or fingerprints, and is the perfect thing to use to keep your vehicle looking its best after every wash.
Okay, using some Detail Geek glass cleaner, I'll get to work on the rest of the crayon mess. And if you're wondering why I didn't do this with the steamer earlier, well, if I had, the dirty water would have run down into the door, which obviously wouldn't have been good. So I'm opting to just use a little more elbow grease here and do it this way. And you guys might notice in the background that I've got gallon sizes of my chemicals sitting on the counter. So for any of the more economically minded folks out there, these should be available any day now on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. All right guys, well eight and a half hours later and I have hit the reset button on the Volkswagen and it's looking incredible. Now just before you leave, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as it really does help the channel out. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.